Hi there, this is Rob, and this is the Two Minute Overnight Overview for Tuesday. It was an interesting night, so let's get to it. And looking at the odd sheet, you can quickly see that a good number of the index securities that we track were suggesting an upside edge, including all four ETFs. But ES is what I trade, and that just barely missed. Price action was mildly bullish, internals were squarely bullish, but seasonality was a little weak. The profit factor of 1.21 just missed the minimum I typically look for of 1.3. Still, with so many other index securities pointing at an upside edge, it was a difficult decision on whether or not to take a trade. I ultimately decided not to for a few reasons. First, the edge finder showed no bullish studies, so there was no evidence to push me over the top. Additionally, in the trading room, we looked at unfilled gaps down from 50-day highs versus times where they weren't following 50-day highs. Coming off a 50-day high, the numbers were quite a bit worse and actually slightly bearish. Lastly, with seasonality week, I would have gone for the lower target amount of about four points. I don't mind using smaller targets uh, when the odds are strongly in my favor, but in a borderline scenario, I want better risk reward. So as I mentioned in the trading room, aggressive traders could justify a long overnight trade, but evidence simply wasn't compelling enough for me. So let's look and see how it worked out. After settling at 1493.5, ES soon began moving higher. After Europe opened, it really got in gear, running up as much as 9 points. When ES opened this morning, it did so with a gap up of 6 and a quarter points. Overnight moves have been strong lately and left us with some unfilled gaps. With the big gap up this morning, there's a decent chance we'll see an, an unfilled gap up again today. One interesting setup that could occur is the following. ES leaves an unfilled gap down yesterday. It then leaves an unfilled gap up today, but closes below the open. Here are results of past instances of this occurring. As you can see, there have been 10 instances since 2000. Only two of the 10 gapped up the next day. With winners and losers about the same size, the numbers point at a possible downside edge. Of course, the number of instances is quite low here, but it may be worth keeping in mind. Thanks for listening, and rest easy.